time to round out the first dozen of Jason's tasty places. So we bid au revoir to France and Champagne, which was both delicious and surprising. Woo! And continue north to Belgium, a country whose national foods could cure anyone's munchies. Brussels, the nation's capital, has many claims to fame. EU Parliament, stunning architecture, iconic cartoonists, and this thing. But there's one emblem of the city that literally pisses all over the rest. This wee fellow, Mannequin Piss. This tiny, life-size statue urinates endlessly in central Brussels. Apart from being a top tourist attraction, is a source of local pride, has an extensive wardrobe, and supports important causes. Nobody knows for sure the true history of Mannequin Piss, though many believe he was a mayor's son who peed on victorious soldiers in an act of celebration. So you know, nothing weird. His likeness is used to sell everything from souvenirs to local foods. So naturally, I couldn't help but succumb to the marketing. Just last year, UNESCO added Belgian beer to its list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Over 200 breweries make 1,500 different beers, and thus the United Nations Agency declared it an art form of unparalleled diversity. Unable to try them all, I decided to take it one beer at a time. So I'm here at Perkinella Kelder, I think. Uh, this is the first stop on my culinary tour of Brussels and I'm starting with a Belgian beer. This one here, the Blanche de Bruxelles, has a, a picture of mannequin piss on it. Um, hopefully it tastes a bit better than the picture would suggest. So let's give it a go. Very nice, nice wheat beer. Citric and uh, very refreshing. A good start. I think I'll be off for a waffle next. Waffles have been made in many forms since the 9th century. Here in Belgium, there are a variety of types. The dense, chewy liege waffle features chunks of caramelized sugar while the rectangular Brussels waffle is crisp, fluffy, and much lighter than it looks. Stop number two, Belgian waffle. Let's get a close up of that. Oh yeah, so that is traditional Belgian waffle, bit more, bit bigger than an American waffle. It's uh, covered in banana and Chantilly cream and Belgian chocolate, of course. It's tiny. It's also the first thing I've eaten today. After the beer, of course. Oh God. Very crispy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Heavenly. I'm gonna need two more people to help me with this. For a tiny country, Belgium plays a big game when it comes to tasty places. Tune in next week as we discover more of their national foods. Bon appétit!